Well, Kunala. With Kelly, another of the Miss Stewart kicks. Now they're crossing the halfway. Looking to visit the try line for the first time. Rogers, he's got a player outside him. It's Eddie Cowson. And the great safety there here from Brett Mullins. Allows this try. They come wide. Pass on. He, he frees it there. You can see Mullins coming across. This man pointing on the inside. By Mullins continuing over, that opens up the hole on the inside. It was two on two, and then all of a sudden it was two on one. And Brett Mullins, he had to stay and show confidence in his outside man. Matt Rogers did a marvellous job there because he had a couple of options to make with some time. That's when mistakes can be made, but he sliced it up perfectly and put the ball onto Edding House's chest. Poor defence out wide from the Raiders, and they paid the ultimate penalty. It was just great work, I thought, by E.T. to turn. Clyde, always back there. Loses the ball. Quinella with a great chance. Dickow, Eddinghausen, Rogers. Rogers is over. A touch just like that. The referee is going to call for the video referee. Bradley Clyde was absolutely sensational. Matt Rogers has scored. For mine, he's in the field of play when he gets the ball down. This should be the second of the night. But what about the defence that hit Bradley Clyde? Not often you see the ball jolted from his grasp. Well, the, the point you have to watch on the replay, let's wait for the judgment. It's a try. The Cronulla crowd loves it. Eddinghausen and Rogers. They're having a semi-final party. Unbelievable stuff there by the Cronulla side. One thing they have done well here tonight, their forwards, they really have attacked the ball carrier. See the ball there just pop down. They get it out wide as quick as possible. Tower Ezekiel goes in slightly to his left, opens up the hole for Edinhausen. Does a good job here to the young Rogers to slide over. Just watch this big hit here. Yeah, that's Bang. good stuff. That's semi final defense. And I'll tell you what, you're, you're right, Gary. He does a good job here, Nick, by straightening it up. If he hadn't have straightened it up and kept coming across field, there's no doubt Matt Rogers would have run out of room. But he committed Royston Lightning. And in the end, it was inch perfect for Matt Rogers. But Nick House certainly helped in the build-up. King around, looking for the call. Stewart puts a grabbing oh. kick in and off. Oh, Peachy! Peachy! Not only did he scoop it up, he's made a 35-metre run. How good is that? Oh, that is unbelievable there by David Peachy. Go, Rogers! Go now. Rogers is away. Gary Freeman barricades for him. He doesn't have to. Rogers is over. That's his second try. And the heads go down on the Canberra Raiders bench. Matt Rogers, he might have just, he might have clinched this one. There's 11 to go and a, a lot will happen in that 11 minutes. But David Peachy, I don't know how he picked this up. And just rushed through a couple of tackles. Got in the clear. It was finally run down and trying by Jason Kroger. But as play, he frees it there. Play continues. You can see that that's one wide man for Canberra. That's the other one. There's a gap straight up the middle. And it just comes back to the play the ball back here. It was, was that quick. The play continues. That they couldn't get their defence back in time and, and bolster the middle of the ruck. Matt Rogers getting involved once again. Peachy's run at 50, Rogers has done the other 50. Well, you look at Rogers there, he saw the two markers there, Peter Sterling, as you said, they split, they went the wrong way, and he just opened up the legs and said, see you later, boys, he's pretty happy about that try too. <laughs> he was pretty happy 40 metres out, he was starting to <laughs> smile back then. Well, I mean, that's just great vision by the young bloke, but get the dummy half, looked up, saw that the markers had gone the wrong way, then just go for it. He actually he he threw a little dummy when he picked it up, and that committed a, a care of play. Might have been uh, Ricky Stewart in there as well. In Brisbane Territory. Tian Strauss, outside for Barnett. Back of the cross. McKenna onto the boot of Healy. High ball. Oh, Rogers! Rogers! Missed him last week. He's back in the side, doing what he does best, and that's scoring points for his team. Looking to run the football on the last. Good work here from Tian Strauss to keep it alive. Basket.
basketball, kick over the or pass over the top, then the kick from Mitch Healy, and the chase was superb. The kick was pinpoint. Two of the best young well, let's we haven't seen much of Devere, but Matt Rogers certainly one of the best young players in the game. A great try there. Yeah, one of the things about Rogers, he never took his eye off the football. He sprinted 25 meters there, and his eyes were on the ball every second, every meter, and uh, he had the advantage. He was running forwards, Devere running. Coming back in to where the play the ball was from Bell. Now with Green across the park. And the TM Strauss it is who's pulled out. Tackle five. Eddinghausen after the kick from Green. Up they go. Knocked backwards by Rogers. I think he might be going to give it as he. And as they. Yes! Rogers gets his second try. Well, tremendous work there from. Pick up Carter here. Watch for the inside ball, he shows it, then Girdler's knocked it on. Uh, he's try time. Rogers, now he uses his speed. Into the clear, 30 to go, 20 to go. It's a good shake, but it's not good enough. Rogers, too much speed. And they score against the runner play, and maybe that will be the killer blow. You can see the relief on some of the Sharkies' faces down here, walking back to the halfway line, but Rogers. He's got some speed, hasn't he? Robbie Beckett done an enormous job to chase. He did have an attempt with him about 30 out. He skipped out of the...